everybody, my name is Ed. Okay, non-controversial comic book haul. This is going to be all uh, back issues. And I'll try to make this one kind of brief. Alright, hey. How about that? <coughs> Excuse me, good stack there. Alright, alright. All right, okay, okay, so let's see here. Let's do it. Oh, let's just do it this way. Okay, I have Dr. Star, number three. Dr. Star, number four. The Witching Hour number three. Uh, this I got because of the art of uh, Chris Pachalo. And who's written, who wrote this? Jeff Loeb. Oh, <laughs> as I'm recording this, Jeff Loeb is in some trouble. I probably should have mentioned that in the other video, but all right. <laughs> uh, Steampunk number three. More Chris Pachalo art. This is. Uh, Jim Kelly, um, Joe Kelly. No, wait, Jim Kelly or Joe Kelly? I think there's a guy who used to write Deadpool back in the day. Joe Kelly. All right. <coughs> Ah. All right. Steampunk number four. Steampunk number two. All these comics were coming out during a really interesting time. That is... Uh, Witching Hour, the Steampunk comics. Dr. Star is pretty recent. It's from like the last year or so. It kind of ties into the Black Hammer universe that uh, Jeff Lemire was doing. But, uh, but anyway, back to these comics. They were coming out at a very interesting time where DC was putting out some uh, like say, interesting books that just kind of flew just underneath the radar there. Uh, what else do I got here? Okay, Glamour Puss number two. This is a comic that Dave Sims did uh, right after he finished uh, Cerebrus. Just some really interesting, like, I guess Al Williamson influenced art here. So I'm getting, I'm really eager to like get into this and just, you know, dig the visuals. This is Glamour Puss number three. So number two, number three. Uh, And what I got here, and number one. Okay. All right. Witching hour number two. Okay, back to interesting things from the late eight or late nineties. Danger Girl number one trade. And then number two trade. But the thing is, <coughs> I don't even think this one is much of a trade. I think this is like issue one and then some like uh, random backup stories and then some like behind the scenes art or some stuff like that. I'd hardly call it a trade. And I think this one actually does have issue two and issue three in it, you know. So, uh, witchcraft number three. This is, part, uh, this is the third part of a miniseries that Vertigo did that centered around the, the three witch characters from the witching, from the original Witching Hour comic uh, they used to put out uh, back in the 70s. So in the 90s, they did a story that kind of centered around them and 
their mission, but then again, they were still holding to the old thing of telling a story with these other characters. So I know I'm explaining it wrong, but uh, yeah. So I have the other two somewhere else. And a nice, uh, for what it's worth, Mike Kaluta uh, cover. Is that how you say his name? Anyway, he was a big fantasy artist back in the uh, 70s and 80s. So people don't really talk about him much uh, these days. Uh, <clears throat> I got this. This is What If number 20. And the whole reason I got this, I can't remember what I was thinking, why, why, why it popped up in my mind. But if anybody's aware of Avengers issue 200, and the whole crazy thing that happened there. Um, <clears throat> the end of that, well, basically what happened is that story with Carol Danvers got changed at the last minute because Jim Shooter said, your original plot for it was too similar to this. And that's why it ended up getting rewritten by like a half a dozen people and kind of had a real weird ending and stuff like that. But so that's why I wanted to get that. And these are just some uh, Dead Man reprints, Neil Adams art, so. <clears throat> this is the first one. Am I dead? No, 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 no. No, no, no. And then here's uh, number two. Say it, Eagle. I'm a sparrow and and a coward and and a killer. <laughs> So, okay, fun stuff. All right, so that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a great day. Uh, let's do it this way.